Hey, what's up guys? Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and today I'm bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial. This one's going to be on custom Espresso tag controls and um, creating a softbox. So we're going to be creating a softbox with custom Espresso tag controls. Um, if you guys already um, know how to make a softbox, then I would just watch it so you can learn how to make custom Espresso tag controls because it's really useful. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do a very simple softbox. So let's grab out a cube. Um, uh, we can just leave it like that. I'm going to make it editable. Um, use point mode and um, just select these corners like this. Um, hello, let me select you. There we go. All right, and then I'm just going to scale this. That was wrong. Boy. Go ahead and spin back around here. There we go. And shrink that down. And then bring this down. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is go into polygon mode. I'm going to select the bottom here. Create new material. This will be a luminance material. There we go and apply there we go all right so there is the beginnings of our softbox um let's go ahead and add in a light make it an area light go ahead and rotate it to 90 degrees stick it to the bottom here and that fits pretty much perfectly actually so I don't think we'll mess with that. And then um, I'm going to add in, sorry, we go to um, right click on it, Cinema 4D tags and compositing tag. So there we go. Um, now I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to hit Alt G and that'll um, put it as a null object. It'll group everything together. Um, and then I'm just going to click on the null and rename it to softbox like that. Um, now let's go to user data, manage user data, and then hit add group. Um, drag it out from under, uh, I mean I guess you don't have to, but I usually just drag it out from underneath there. And then let's call this custom, or we don't have to type in custom, we'll just type in control. And then hit add data. And then for this we'll type in um, luminance. Do we want to do this as luminance? Yeah, let's do luminance. Um, and then I, I'm going to keep this as um, float, but the interface, I'm going to change this to float slider, and this is what it looks like. Okay, the default value I'm going to leave at 100, and then um, the maximum, let's make it 1,000. So our maximum brightness, or the, um, our We'll be able to crank the luminance up to a thousand. I'm over here getting um, tongue tied. Um, I'm gonna add in more more user data. Am I spelling luminance right? Wait a second. I'm not spelling that right, am I? That doesn't look right. Let me check real quick. No, I am not spelling that right at all. Okay, let me go. <laughs> I feel very foolish. Let's go ahead and change it there we go got it looking better now anyway let's go here and then we'll type in light brightness or intensity whatever you want and then again I'm gonna leave it on a slider float slider and then um, I'm gonna crank that all the way up to 100 as well and then we'll make the max a thousand as well. And then uh, let's do light color here. Um, color and then the default value will be white. And then let's do one more which will be um, seen by camera. Seen by camera. And then we'll change this to. Geez, I'm having a hard time remember what it is. Um, 
shoot. Uh, come on now. It's definitely not grading. What am I doing? Let me just scroll through these real quick. <laughs> See, because I'm having a hard time remembering. Have to excuse me. Oh, there we go. Boolean. I think it's Boolean. Yeah, that's a default value. Um, yeah, it'll be that. That's the default value. Okay. So seen by camera, you know, that'll be yes. And then if you uncheck it, seen by camera will be off. Um, so anyway. And then we'll right click on the softbox, go to Cinema 4D Tags, Espresso, and then drag the softbox in here. Drag the material in here, open up the softbox, and drag in the light. So there we go. And then under softbox, click on the red tab here, and go to um, controls, brightness. We're going to just open up all these um, light color. Oops, light color. There we go. Um, luminance, and then um, scene by camera. Oh, which that reminds me, we also need to drag in the uh, compositing tag. There we go. So we'll click on the compositing tag here. Um, let's see. Here we go. Tag pro uh, tag properties seen by camera. There we go. Drag this out. Okay, you you just click on the uh, red dot and then drag it to the blue one. Under light, we'll go to general color and then let's see um, general intensity so light color will go here obviously light brightness obviously goes here and then material we need to go to luminance and then brightness so there we go our custom controls are all set up and let's go ahead and check them out here uh, where are we where are we there we go light brightness okay that's all the way down for whatever reason um, we'll crank as you can see you know it gets darker as I lower it and brighter um, if I add in a plane here that'll probably display it better so crank up the brightness see I don't think it's really gonna affect it Okay, there we go. You can see the um, luminance on the material being adjusted here. And then uh, scene by camera, we'll turn that off. And then as you can see, it's gone. Turn it on. There it is. And then light color, change it to red, and there we go. So that's how you do a basic softbox and custom espresso controls. If you play around with this, you can pick it up pretty quick. Um, it's pretty simple to learn. You know, I'm, I'm mostly self-taught when it comes to the Espresso controls. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Um, you know, let me know if you have any um, tutorial ideas you'd like me to um, do. And um, I'll see about doing them. So I hope this helps you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.